Jewett Independent School District's Board of Trustees gathered this afternoon to discuss the future of Dina Serrano, its board vice president. Yeah, that meeting coming less than a week after the defenders revealed a Facebook post by Serrano that showed a man with his head in a noose. Our Dylan Collier on the wave of backlash against the recently sworn in trustee and whether she remains part of that elected body. One month after being sworn in as Edgewood ISD trustee, Dina Serrano was the focus of a meeting called specifically to address her conduct. Serrano has faced a growing mass of criticism after making this Facebook post Father's Day weekend. It showed a man she identified as her husband with his head in a noose and their two children pulling on the other end of the rope. Dina Serrano must resign. 35 of the 39 citizen comments submitted via email and read by a district spokeswoman called for Serrano to step down permanently or remove herself from the board until she could go through sensitivity training. This photo was an outrageous demonstration of racism. I stand before you today as a former educator. Five other people showed up to speak in person despite the COVID-19 pandemic, including 88-year-old Dorothy Collins, a barrier-breaking educator who spent close to 40 years working for Edgewood. The noose is a sign of racism and hate. And so you just hate to see a person who's supposed to be professional and a leader in a school district put something on social media like that. It's just unacceptable. After discussing Serrano's post behind closed doors, trustees reconvened and announced that they were publicly censuring her and had removed her as vice president, but could not kick her off the board altogether because she is an elected official. I'll make a statement later. Serrano at first declined to comment before saying she has no plans at this point to step down. I will stay on the board. I was elected by my community, so I am not going to resign. Serrano's decision to not resign came despite a threat from Edgewood ISD's board president that donors and community partners would pull their support if Serrano remained in any way connected to the board of trustees. On the west side, Dylan Collier, KSAT 12 News.